What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. We're watching more Karens, but I thought we'd do something a little bit different. You see, Karens always freak out and have public meltdowns. Since it's 2024, let's watch something different. Let's watch Karens get arrested. That is right. Today, we are watching public freakout videos. Go subscribe to them. I'm subscribed. You should be subscribed as well. This is 10 minutes of Entitled Karens getting arrested. So let's watch this, have some fun, and analyze some Karens. Five Karens who took their entitlement too far and found themselves being arrested. Dubbed online as Soho Karen, Soho this 23-year-old woman pleads guilty after being arrested for attacking a black teenager who she had accused of stealing her iPhone. See, that's why you need a lock screen on your phone. So that way, if anyone goes, oh, that's my phone, that's my phone, and they can't unlock it, that's proof that it's not their phone. She looks cray-cray already. Can you imagine being the manager here and just... Absolutely trying to deal with this. No, but you're not helping. I what am. you've been is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle the no. situation. I'm, I'm my son trying. has nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on in the world. Show me the proof. No, he's not leaving. Show me the proof. Oh, so she's holding him hostage there. She's not allowing him to leave. Get on him. So he's trying to leave. Oh, she's coming right at him, too. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. So she's now assaulting him, grabbing him. Oh, she fell down, or he got pushed. Soho Karen has yeah, since pleaded got, guilty uh, to unlawful imprisonment in the second yeah, that's degree it. as a hate crime, and was sentenced to probation. She will be required for two years to yeah. abide by the terms of her California probation, I feel bad for that manager. Case, and to continue counseling. This Florida Karen completely lost her mind and decided to go full on racist against the landscapers. Of course. All she can do is scream racial slurs like it's her yeah, day job. Yeah, and that's the thing too is right there for the whole when people are so stupid that they have no vocabulary, they can't articulate themselves, they just yell out hateful slurs and hateful comments and just get loud and yell and scream to try and make their point. And you can see like she's doing that right here now. Oh, look at that. World Star Hip Hop. World Star! Oh, yeah, so she's going away then. And she's still yelling. You good to go? You good to go? Wow, yeah, you can tell her uh, feelings there by calling them Puerto Ricans. Man, imagine how. Having that much venom and hate inside of you, it would just eat away at you every single day. Because you can tell that people like this, there's something going on in their lives where there's something not fulfilled, so they lash out and they get angry and they start doing stuff like this. And then, that's, yeah, a neighbor's trying to intervene there, stopping them, so it's just one on one there. Like that guy's actually being nice and polite, and she's yelling and screaming, getting into his face. So now she's trying to pick a fight. Thank you, boss. Have a blessed day. Damn, that is a lot of hate inside of one person. Like it's 2024. Just maybe you should uh, look at your life and evaluate. I hope they have an update on her. I hope I see her get arrested. Because they're just trying to do their job and she's yelling and screaming to get in their face trying to stop them from their, their job. Just because of the race? The skin color? Like that's sad really. It is sad. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. They grabbed her. Oh, and the, she's yelling at the cops using hateful comments, too. Those are probably not people you want to use hateful comments towards. Yeah, I think his hand's on the back of her neck, too. 
Damn. Imagine being this hateful that you get arrested. That is just sad. I hope they show the charges against her, too. Eventually, the cops okay, showed up go. and arrested Karen, taking her to a medical facility for a mental evaluation. Exactly. Check out this drunk Karen at the airport bar. Oh, Instead God. of calling it a day and snoozing on the plane, she decides to stay the stranger she's party touching. pooper, causing a ruckus drunk and, lady arrested what, getting after herself arrested. Be kissed. So, is she arrested because she's sexually harassing someone? Yeah. I'm not going to talk alone with you, though, man. You got too much heavy weights on, both of you. Yeah, no, I don't care. She's talking to somebody else in the bar? Not with all your weapons, man. With your weapons? Yeah, I don't think Oh, she must be talking to the cops. Nothing to talk about. I have nothing to say to you, Mr. Desmond. Yeah, she's definitely talked to the cops, Mr. Desmond. Yeah. No. No, man. So, did someone call the cops because she tried to kiss somebody? You're not gonna kiss me, man. Oh, there's a cop behind her, too. Pages have been broken. I'll sing. We can talk. Is that your daughter's scared? Is that your daughter? It is. Yes, these men are scaring me, and I had to run. So, what? Look him in the eye and tell him that they're not here to scare me. Look at him in the eye because I know that I'm okay. So is she saying someone's just, harassing her or following her? Thank you. Would you like to walk with me? Because I'm not. Oh my to God! Walk She's trying to pick up the right cop. Let them come to me. While they're questioning yeah. her. Oh. I can walk with you. Would that be okay? Yes. Thank you. How can you say no to her? Are you kidding me? Well, you're going to say no to I'm not, her? I'm not your best friend, but I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm not your best friend. You're just drunk. I'm getting you out of here. You know, you're making a know. scene of yourself, lady. You were running up and down. Kind of acting cray-cray. Oh, there you go. She turned on her. Cray-cray. Oh, here we go. Oh, she breaks them. Are you guys okay? Oh, she, my God. She's holding on to that lady in yellow like a child. Hold on to a parent. Okay. Mr. Bacon. Yeah, that will make things worse. I want everybody to know where they're taking you. Because this is a hotel, California, and they're never coming back. Yeah, I'm sure they don't want you back here. Then I'm never coming back. Wow. Yeah, she's trying to never come back, but she's making a scene like this. Everyone's just going to stand there and watch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want you back, Karen. Yeah, she is crazy. I'm not. They said I'm mad. And my children... Yeah, imagine how embarrassing your children must be. Wait, you're gonna I've break my married. wedding ring, but I've never been married. What the hell does that mean? What has been happening? Oh, she's trying to kick the cops in the balls. That is cray cray right there. You tell me! Come on, kiss me! What? What? Oh, she's getting into the weird kinks now. Oh, that's assault right there. That's double assault right there. Tell me I'm sexy? She is just going crazy. Yeah, you do look crazy. That is a wild woman right there. My god. When they finally arrested her, this crazy Karen went wild demanding kisses from the officers. <laughs> like, seriously? She even yeah. threw some wild kisses. That is some crazy stuff I've never seen before. Escape her madness. But eventually, he manages to get away. Oh, and she's finally, the cop showed up to let her know she was getting arrested for assault, but Karen couldn't care less. This Karen finds herself behind bars Ooh. after throwing her hot soup into the face of an employee. She could have burnt her skin off. someone's face and you may be arrested. That's a lesson a like, man Like that's a big Martinez charge right there. Has just learned. On November 7th, Martinez This is why you be nice to food workers. They deal with stuff like this all the time. That her menudo soup was so hot, it melted the top of the takeout so, container. So she and complained now, now it was too hot. Was the manager on and then in response the threw it in right, the person's face. Refunds and was trying to get her either a replacement meal yeah, or exactly just something what you do. completely different if she wasn't in the mood for soup She's anymore. trying to help her out. And she just continued to yell. Martinez came back to the restaurant to continue her complaint, as seen on this surveillance video, pointing out the melted lid. He just still continued to yell, make a Yeah, scene. that could be a major assault um, charge right there. Still, still cursing with, you know, families and other children in the restaurant. 
But even with the spices in her eyes and her nose, that could do major damage too. Or I'm going to be calling the police. I man, I can still help you get you something. I just ask you don't. Yeah, she'd be super nice and helpful. Thankfully, the hot soup had cooled down. But even though the spices and stuff, the experience was still painful. My eyes were stinging so bad; they were burning. And the spices were all like inside of the exactly. front of my nose, and it caused me to have a nosebleed. Thirty-one. That goes right Amanda to the brain Martinez too. Was arrested Wednesday, charged with a class five thousand dollar bond, assault causing bodily injury, according to Bell County Sheriff's Department. Her bail was set at five thousand dollars. Imagine ruining your life like that Martinez over soup. Up to a year in jail and a fine of up to four thousand dollars. Yeah, imagine your soup is too hot. So your response is to throw it at person's face, get arrested, get a five thousand dollar bond and possible four thousand dollar fine. That is some cray cray right there. My God, I don't know what we saw, but I loved it. I, I hope you guys loved it too. Click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love.